everybody, Brian. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, oh Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, my name's Katie. Like that. And I know that this is a Halloween video, but look at, at Katie's shirt and look at my shirt, man. When we were rocking the Peanuts Christmas while we holding the Peanuts Great Pumpkin Cups. Why would we do that to you guys? Confuse you just for no reason? To be, no, nah, we're not going to be rude. No, no. You're we're doing it because of this weird monstrosity. It's pumpkin hang dog? Are you kidding me? Homogenized? Pasteurized? I don't know what those things mean, but... Calorificarized? Yeah, it's gonna be sweet and creamy. Now, a couple years ago, me and Tim, your cohort, mm -hmm. we, uh, we, we drank some eggnog, uh, and I had... Whoa, that's super thick, man. Maybe, Katie, as you pour yours, we can yeah. kind of document that a little better on camera, because that was... I was not expecting it. Can you super see thick. that, cameraman? Now, when I, you know, when Tim and I had eggnog, that was the first time I had ever had it. And this is as an adult, you know. And um, I'm also not a big dairy guy. I'm pretty much lactose intolerant. So most dairy things are not good for me. This one's probably, you know, not. But I, I'm, I'm very curious to, to try uh, this. I'm not a milk fan, as a lot of people know. Okay, milk. so you're the same boat. I, I despise, but I love same milkshakes. Milk. I love ice cream. Okay. And I love eggnog. I never had eggnog until I got into the States about a decade ago. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I tasted it, I was like, man, this is like a milkshake party in my mouth. Okay. And the first time I tried it, it had the liquor in it. So oh, we no go wonder. big and we go, we don't go home. We we lay on the couch you half, go home. half, you know. We, 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 they wake us up on the street, you know, curb, eggnog out. Let's do it, Katie. Mm -hmm. There's something black. There's an insect floating in my one. Oh, yeah. I'm smelling pumpkins. Was a great pumpkin in here? He, he didn't die for a, yeah. a, a bad cause for us, did he? Mm. That's kind of creamy. That's kind of mm -hmm. sweet. That's kind of, uh, that's mm -hmm. pretty good. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Pumpkin, I've said this before, you know, like I'm not a huge pumpkin flavor person, uh, but the creaminess of the eggnog kind of makes the pumpkin more inviting to my palate. They kind of, they, they kind of marry each other, you know, they kind of work um, together. Uh, this is, is pretty good. It, it's not bad. Um... I love, uh, if you guys ever come across it, Golden Eggnog, um, I forget what the brand is, but it's, it's amazing. Golden Eggnog, it's it's in your major grocery stores around the holidays. Um, I've seen a gingerbread eggnog, I've seen vanilla eggnog, I've seen so many varieties. I'm not a big, big pumpkin fan. Yeah. I love pumpkin spice lattes, and I guess, minus the coffee, this would kind of be similar to that, with the creaminess. Yeah. Um, this could actually probably be used as creamer in a hot cup of coffee. I mean, the amount of calories and just like, even mm. his little tiny fraction is probably about 200 calories, so. Yeah. I mean, unless, you, unless you're Cartman going for beef. Beefcake 2000. I mean, you don't really want to be hulking on you, you You took yours down pretty quickly, but for me, I found the two drinks that I've had more so than most drinks. This is also because it is thick. It's very sippable, slowly. You know, when I taste that, that creaminess just kind of runs down the tongue. Um, it, it's pretty cool. I don't know... Um, this is from Kroger. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to find this all over the country. Uh, some other, I'm sure some other companies have tried it. They're on but, the, the, the bandwagon. To be honest with you fans, though, there was a reason why I did sip that down ooh. very quickly. I had just uh, diverged in some crazy hotshot madness, as you may see later on. So oh, that's right. I kind of right. had to calm down my taste Fireball. buds. And you know what? It's done the trick. I mean, now I can actually see color again. So we're getting there. I mean, if you're going to ask me what my fall beverage of choice is going to be, it's going to be a hot apple cider. But while well, I'm going through the hayride or whatever, mm -hmm. but this would not be a bad second choice. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with pumpkin uh, pumpkin spice lattes and white chocolate mochas. Those are the best from Starbucks. But I mean, uh, if you like eggnog, if you like pumpkin, if you're in the mood for it, then you know, go ahead. But I'm gonna stick with my Christmas tree, my Charlie Brown, and uh, cheers. Ho ho ho! Boo! Good. God bless you, Santa. I guess.